Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add appointment booking for free on your Shopify store. So in this video, you're going to learn exactly how to add an appointment booking app so that you can take bookings for events and services on your Shopify store directly so that it's easy for customers to go in and book those services and so that you can avoid scheduling conflicts and it will integrate with your tools, you know, such as Google Calendar, Google Meet, your emails, Zoom, whatever you like. That's what we're we'll going into here in in today's video and of course before we dive into things I do want to mention of course if you don't already have a Shopify store you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description that's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify it will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial again that's that first link down below in the video description without ado let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial so first things first you're going to want to make sure that you are of course logged in to your Shopify store and then next what you're going to do is you're going to follow the link in the video description or if you want to search for for it as well. It is the easy appointment booking app. This is built for Shopify. It is developed by a third party developer Servicify and it is a free app for appointment booking. They do have a completely free plan available. Just so you're aware, they do also have some premium uh, upgrades if you want those um, for certain extra additional features on their standard Pro and Pro Plus. None of these are necessary. They do have a free trial with these additional, um, you know, extra upgrades if you do need them, like certain integrations are paid. But if you just need the basic appointment booking, you can take unlimited bookings on the free version, add unlimited team members, send out those email notifications, reschedule bookings, and set up in-person or virtual bookings, which I get those are probably the most important features for most people looking for an appointment booking uh, service and an app for their Shopify store. So Shopify does not have this functionality by default in Shopify. That is why you need to install it and add a third party app to enhance your Shopify store to get the appointment booking working. So in order to get started with this, of course, I will have a link below, down below in the video description to the Shopify app store for this app here. Make sure you are also logged into your Shopify store here in the Shopify app store, or whenever you go to click this link, it should prompt you with the login. So you can select the right store that you wanna install this app to. So you're logged in here and we are logged in here. What we're gonna do first step is going to come over here to the bottom left-hand corner and click the black install button. If you're signed in properly, it should prompt you here with this page where you can then install the app. So all we have to do is then click this black button here to install the easy appointment booking app. And it will walk us through the installation process as to how to get the appointment booking added to our Shopify store. So one thing I would recommend as well, anytime you're adding an app to your Shopify store, come over here to the left-hand side, pin it to your navigation, uh, can just make it a lot easier to get back to the app. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do here is, as you can see here, start taking bookings on your Shopify store, turn any Shopify product into a bookable event or service in under three minutes with the easy appointment booking. So we're going to go ahead and click here for create your first event. And we are, because we don't, technically currently have a product for the service. What we're going to do is because we don't have a product, we're going to go ahead and create a new one. This will then automatically open the products tab in Shopify for a new product. And we're just going to go ahead and add a product here by clicking the top right hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and add a new product. And we're going to call this um, uh, private or let's just do uh one-on-one -on -one meeting, right? We'll call it one-on-one -on -one meeting. Now you can either make this $0 if you want it to be a free uh, booking, or you can charge for this as well if you do want to make this a paid product. Uh, so that is up to you here. You can go ahead and select if you would like that. You can also add a description or you know additional media, maybe like you and a camera or something like that. Like if you wanted to add any additional information to this to this product page or this product listing, we're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna uh, say it's $30 or something like that. Again, you can make that free as well. We're gonna go ahead and click save. So we have one-on-one -on -one meeting as a product that is created. So now we have added that product and now we're gonna go back here to the easy appointment app. It should be just on a separate tab on your web browser. Then we're going to click select product. And now that we should have this product in here uh, for one, so one-on-one -on -one meeting, we're gonna select that new product that we have created and boom. So now we have selected the product that we need. And so customers pay to book. That is if you want it to be 
you know, your customers are paying for that booking up front. So you can charge, you know, a deposit or the full amount um, for the booking. Now, if you do want subscriptions, those are unfortunately on the pro version, but if you're just looking to keep things free, cheap and easy, you can go through with the regular events and services setup. Uh, so this is customers are paying to book. Again, you can set up more custom options or you can have a customer book first and pay later. Um, if you want customers to be able to book for free, you can do that as well. We're going to go with pay to book because that is the most popular option. I get most people are trying to sell appointment booking services and they're going to be charging for them. But you do have those other options in here as well, if that's what you're interested in. So we're going to set this up as a one-on-one -on -one meeting event. We're going to do 30 minutes. You could do 60 minutes. Um, so you could also, you know, select whichever you want or at certain intervals. So if it's a, you know, a two hour meeting, you can also set up custom time. So this would be different interval marks uh, that you can then select for the actual appointment duration. So one-on-one -on -one meeting, uh, we're going to keep that one-on-one -on -one meeting event and you can have up to one attendee. So for this is for private bookings. You're just going to have one attendee. You can have, you know, multiple time slots. If this is more of a sort of like a webinar setup that you're trying to sell slots to. Like if you have a max of 100 people that can sign up for this, you could also add that there too, which is a nice option. Uh, and then in terms of the overall time slot visibility, uh, this is where you can you know set specific intervals so that people aren't just like booking at random odd times. It would be every 30 to 60 minutes uh, if you set up the 30 minute appointment duration. So we're gonna go ahead and just go with that and click continue. Then this will prompt us with the you know availability schedule. So this is where you can select specific days you're available as well as your specific time schedules um, that you're available. So you can set this up on a weekly basis as to um, your overall start time and end time. This is currently, as you can see here, uh, in military time for the end time. So do just keep that in mind. You can also add availability for Saturday, Sunday, or we could just leave it you know, as basic like 9 a.m. start times for Monday through Friday, and you can select their time zone as well. Uh, we're currently in the America, New York time zone. Uh, so we're just going to leave that as the default there, but that is where you would go to edit and set up the specific days as well. Um, maybe if you have certain days of the week that you want to select or certain just days in general, uh, we'll just go with the weekly basis and then we're going to go ahead and click save changes. So we've saved the avail availability and we're going to go ahead and click continue to next step. And now we have step four. So we're almost done and you can go ahead and see what the appointment booking looks like. So we have payment options, pay to book. You can also set it to be a free service. Uh, if you want people to pay, you know, in person instead of online or something like that, if you're just wanting them to get set up with the appointment for free, you can go with that option or you can pay to book um, and you can accept those payments through Shopify as well as a full payment or partial payment, which is great just to keep your overall payment processing consolidated because I get that some other appointment booking programs, it's like, oh, you got to set up another payment processor with this. You can keep it within the Shopify ecosystem, uh, which is pretty nice just for managing all your income and in your business. Um, and then you have a customer booking option. So you can do today or, you know, on a specific date, uh, you can set up, continue accepting bookings until a certain day, specific number of day. Um, you know, if you need to time to prepare before a booking, so you could give like a one day notice if you wanted to set it so that, you know, customers will be able to book up to one day before the start of the event. That is honestly a pretty good option there. Or you could just be like, nah, they can just book anytime. Um, that's something else you can uh, go with. <clears throat> now, of course, you want to make sure you send those confirmation emails. And we're going to go ahead and click save. Now we have created this event here. Um, now to integrate this into the theme, what we need to do here is, as you can see here, click the button below to integrate easy appointment booking with your theme, save changes, and then return to this tab to view your published events. So we will need to enable the app embed. We're going to go ahead and click integrate with theme, and then this will automatically populate up with the Shopify theme editor directly in your appointment um as you can see, appointment booking activated. So you want to make sure that this is uh, checked here or, or sort of like toggled on. Now, this product does not actually have the appointment booking on it. So you're not necessarily going to see it on this specific product. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and click save here so that the appointment booking app embed is enabled uh, so that that button is inside the store. We're going to go back here once you've integrated your theme. Uh, click the button below to save your event. We're going to go ahead and click save. So, and then 
what we're going to want to do, of course, we will <laughs> want to um, disable inventory tracking. That is something else you do need to do as well on the product page. Uncheck the track quantity because there is no quantity as to you know how often you can uh, book appointments, of course. So we're going to go ahead and click view in store. Uh, you can also edit this event if you would like to as well. We're going to go to the product page and make sure we go ahead and disable the... Um, yeah, as you can see, it will say sold out because there's no um, total number of inventory. So we're going to head and uncheck track quantity, click save, and then that will fix that problem here on the product page where it's saying sold out. Just give it a second to load. And boom. So now we have it. One-on-one -on -one meeting, $30. Uh, I mean, shipping calculated checkout does not really matter, but we have the select a time button. Uh, ultimately, what you could do if you want this to maybe look a little different, uh, of course, adding images can help. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to the product page here. If we want to add any sort of uh, media, this could also help in terms of, you know, maybe just making things look a little bit better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go with this like yearly finance planner image. Um, and that should then save there. We're going to go ahead and refresh. So as you can see, that's more so like what the layout would look like. If you had an image, you're going to have the reviews, customer review section. If you've already added reviews to your store, that will be linked. You know, those videos are on the channel. If you want to learn how to add reviews to your Shopify store, but this is the main button here for once you've now added the one-on-one -on -one meeting again you could delete some of these sections here like if you don't need dimensions shipping like these are meta fields that you can delete um, or if you wanted to change your theme template you can also change the product page template here um, to maybe make this a little bit more customized around your specific meeting booking um, but essentially you have the selected time here and this is what the meeting selected time would look like. So let's go ahead and go with like, you know, I don't know, a few few weeks out. Okay, cool, one-on-one -on -one meeting, add to cart. This is the overall process of what it looks like, add it to cart. And then, you know, as you can see here, one-on-one -on -one meeting is added to your cart in 24 days. Check out to confirm the booking. You can also continue shopping as well if, you, if the customer would like to add more. We're gonna go ahead and go to the checkout. Uh, and as you can see here, one-on-one -on -one meeting date and time slot is available there. And the customer can just go here to check out. And this will then, as you can see here, the date and time stamp is in the cart. So you have one-on-one -on -one meeting, $30, and the date and time is there in the checkout. And this will function essentially like any other product on your Shopify store for booking these meetings uh, in your Shopify store. So that's what the product page looks like. Now, if we go back here, uh, we've created the event. If we refresh here, this is the booking dashboard for these appointments. So this is where you're going to see and track all the bookings that have been made for specific events you've created. As we can see, we've already created just the one event. You can view current bookings here in this list. So you'll see overall bookings that you have. Um, you can also view the calendar view to see like what's coming up. Uh, the list view as well. So this is essentially how you process those payments and have the bookings, um, you know, scheduled out. So you're able to accept payments. You're able to schedule them out as well uh, and view all of your bookings here in the easy appointment booking app. Now, in terms of, you know, adding things to do like a in-person meeting, uh, the easiest um, option is to just communicate via email if you need to send them a link. This does not automatically send out a calendar link for a, like, essentially if you wanted it to link with Google Calendar um, or with like a Zoom link, it will just send out the appointment schedule as well as the overall booking and processing the payment. It does not actually send a video link. Um, if you wanted it to be connected, then you would have to upgrade to sync with like Zoom or something like that. If you wanted it to sync with Zoom, that is just on the pro version. Um, but when you, when you do send out the bookings, um, you can see, you know, order placed and the booking is made. Uh, reminder about upcoming bookings. So this will be the section where you can edit some of that information. You could also add just like a link to um, a general, you know, page that maybe you accept bookings to if you wanted to, um, you know, set up 
something on the back end like hey this is a general link that i use for um, video meetings if you have a general link you could add that to the automated email and text notifications uh, or you could just also reach out to the customer directly like hey thanks for booking blah 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 like if you wanted it to be more automated you could go in here and edit that or if you want it to be more manual you could just send it directly to your customer as well um, but at least this does take care of the hassle of scheduling and you know setting up the appointments and processing the payments. Those are all automated here. Again, if you do want to link it with some of these other apps, you do have to upgrade to the pro version. Um, but like I said, you could ultimately kind of set up your own manual version of that in here in the email and text settings. You just add an add a general link here um, for if it's a virtual meeting or if it's an in-person meeting, you can also add the extra instructions here as to maybe who to you know reach out to or you know you're going to get the information as far as hey the appointment is booked and set maybe add your business address or something like that too um, some of that might be self-explanatory or what you might want to do is just add it to the description here on the product page so that your customer is also well aware as to like hey once the meeting is going on like where is it is it an in-person meeting is it a zoom meeting you know, you can set those up here, even just on the product description, if you wanted to make that clear as well. Um, so do just keep that in mind. It's not necessarily a full service thing. You do have to kind of still make it clear to the customer in your wording and in your text, like if it's virtual, if it's in person or however you wanna go about setting it up. But essentially the app does take care of the basics as far as processing the payments, setting up those bookings so you can actually see um, where things are at and just getting everything set up. Again, you can also manage your team and add additional team members here too. Um, if you wanted to uh, add additional you know, team members too, you can also do that there as well or create additional availability based on the events that you've created. Uh, but this is essentially how you add appointment booking to your Shopify store, like I showed you before, with the checkout process. It is pretty easy um, so that you can go ahead and start accepting payments and processing and building out those bookings um, for your Shopify store um, and just adding, you know, easy appointment booking on your Shopify store, like I showed you with the overall sign up process and what it looks like. Again, this is sort of what it would maybe look like if you edited it a little bit more. Um, this is just directly from the easy appointment booking app. Again, links are down below in the video description. Um, to go ahead and take you over to this page here, or if you wanted to edit some additional settings inside the Easy Appointment Booking app, again, they are all uh, inside the app settings like I showed you here. Uh, but that's again how you add appointment booking to your Shopify store. Uh, pretty easy process to add them. You can select the times and process payments and schedule things out. So again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, guys, if you found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.